Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. There are some fish which will go that extra mile to help keep us happy, and will actually provide a service to help maintain a thriving reef tank. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the most helpful fish. Before we get to that however, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys. I'm rapidly approaching the 30,000 subscriber milestone, a concept which I couldn't even imagine when I first started, and I couldn't have done it without each of you. As I approach this number, I realised that I need to set myself a new goal, and set my sights much higher. Obviously it's going to take a long time, but with the help of you guys, I want to try to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. I'll be honest with you, I'd love to quit my job and do this full time. Shh, don't tell anyone. And that is around the number which it starts to become self-sustaining. Some people might think this is an unachievable goal. However, I believe in life you've got to think big, and if everyone that watched this other video I previously created had clicked that subscribe button, I'd be there already. So why not help me out and click that subscribe button, and see if we can get there together. Anyway, back to today's video. Here are my top 5 fish with jobs in a saltwater tank. Number 1. The Exterminator. There are multiple wrasses which fit into this category, but from personal experience and having had quite a few over the years, this is the one which I believe is the best all-rounder, and is a must for any tank experiencing invasive issues. Yellow chorus wrasse are peaceful, brightly coloured, don't get too big, and add a lot of movement to the tank, while also having a ferocious appetite for some of the most common pests in a marine aquarium. On the menu are various types of flatworms, and even the dreaded Montipora eating nudibranchs. I've personally seen one eradicate a substantial population of euphilia eating flatworms in just a single week. When it comes to invasive species, there is almost always a predator out there that can resolve the problem for you, but as always, prevention is better than finding a cure. Number 2. The Gardener. Finding an algae eater to control nuisance algae is one of the easiest roles to fill in your tank. Many rabbit fish and tangs are more than willing to provide this service for you. In my experience, one fish I'll never run a tank without is one of the seven zebrazoma tanks. This family includes yellow, purple, both sail fins, scopaz, black and gem tangs, and they are great at keeping algae in check. These are beautiful, hardy fish which spend all day cruising the rockwork, meticulously chewing on any algae which gets too long. I've been lucky enough to also have several tangs eat bubble algae, including my convict and powder blue tang. Number 3. The Medic. One of the biggest threats a marine aquarist has to deal with is the introduction of an unwanted parasite into the aquarium. This is the most common reason the cleaner wrasse gets purchased. This is actually a common misconception though, as cleaner wrasse won't help prevent this or aid with an outbreak. Cleaner wrasse actually only remove dead tissue, damaged scales and scabs rather than the parasite itself, which although won't cure the fish, does make the fish more comfortable. There are two other creatures which I can think of which also provide this service. The cleaner shrimp, and the neon goby. Having said that, I found that both of these will become lazy in the home aquarium, and will give up this service once they're offered a regular supply of fish food. What I will say is that a recent study has shown that removing cleaner ass from the world has a significant impact on the other reef inhabitants, therefore they're probably one of those fish which should be left in the wild. Number 4. The Bomb Disposal Expert. A single Aptasia in your tank is like an unexploded bomb just waiting to go off. I'm talking to you, inappropriate reefer. It may have been in your tank for years without causing any issues, but trust me, it's just waiting until your tank has the right conditions for it to multiply, and before long, their population explodes and you've got a serious issue on your hands. Sometimes when we try to deal with an Aptasia ourselves, we end up making the situation much worse. And this is where the next fish comes in. Some copper band butterfly fish have a taste for these pests and enemies, and will happily spend all day nipping the rockwork and disarming them in the correct manner, preventing them from spreading. Something which is very important for you to know though, is that these fish are incredibly delicate, and care needs to be taken when selecting a specimen to ensure that it's healthy and eating something other than Aptasia, as once they've removed all of them from your tank, it will sadly starve. Number 5. The Celebrity. Like many of today's D-list celebrities, Pablo My Boxfish has little to no talent, doesn't fulfil any beneficial role in society, and is always hungry for attention. Yet for some reason, he's the fish that everyone loves the most. 
Whenever someone sees my tank for the first time, he's always the fish that everyone notices, and the smile he puts on their face is what has earned him a place on this list. It doesn't need to be a box fish either. Any fish which makes people go, wow, I want to get a saltwater tank, fits into this category. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a good week and I'll see you next time. As always, I just want to say a massive thank you to the people that support the channel on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of what you do with regards to keeping this channel going. You've all been brilliant. Thank you.